In this video, I'd like to show you three types of projects that will make you a programmer. Because as you know, it's one thing to just build projects and it's another to build projects that actually have meaning and that will make you a better programmer as a result of the quality and the effort that goes into making those projects. And these are the types of projects that I have done and I'm currently doing to improve as a programmer. So everything here I have tried, have tested, and have utilized to build applications and make money with my software. And so the first type of project that will kind of get you started in programming is a basic portfolio. Now, this is the one that programmers usually get stuck in and kind of stay in this bubble. Regardless, it is a very, very, very important aspect of your uh, coding journey. This could be like an about me type of landing page where you talk about yourself and just display your like HTML, CSS and JavaScript skills. This could also mean like a basic program. So for example, right? So if we go over here, um, everyone knows like the eight ball program. And basically, it's just applications that you build that don't really matter to people, which we will get into, but they are just there so that they can teach you the basics and you can understand what goes into a program. And again, it could also mean something like this. Let's say you're Joe Grayson and you made it like a landing page. This is an awesome way to kind of display your skills if you want to get hired. And again, a top tier way to uh, learn the basics of a program. But again, this is where Gilberts will stay for the rest of their coding journey. I know people that are six years into their journey in programming and they are just here. They just build projects, portfolio projects and build things that just matter to them rather than actually meaningful things that they will also learn from. And we don't wanna be Gilberts and Gilberts are the losers that we used to be. We're not gonna be like that. Instead, we learned the basics, which is again, a thing that's meaningful and that matters. But the next level up from that, once you've done a couple of projects, projects with that is projects for others. This could mean anything from a website for your mom, like I've talked about in the past, or it could be an app that people can use. So I'll show you what I mean by this. Okay. So a long time ago, I built this very basic book list application where a user could come in, say it's like the Bible, right? Let's say they read the Bible, they can put in the author's name. So I don't know who wrote that, uh, I don't know, uh, whatever. And then they could give a rating out of four or five, whatever, let's say <laughs> five or four, a five. And you can see down here, it displays the book title, the author and the rating. This could also mean a just a better looking site that people in the future could look at and use. And for example, here you have a basic crypto app. It's just a front end where I called an API to display the price of the current uh, coins. But where the difference lies between the basic portfolio and the projects for others is that in the second type of project, it forces you to think about other people and it forces you in a way to apply good principles because you are making the app in the eyes of the other person. And I always think that's valuable to do so because it highlights where you're weak and where you need to improve. That's why I'm such a big proponent of posting YouTube videos, even if you're new to programming. It forces you to teach something which is very difficult. And because it forces you to teach, you have to be good at that thing. So you have to learn more so that you can teach it. And because you learned more, you got better at it. In this section, right, if you're trying to look for something to build, what I did was I just built a basic website for my mom. Or it could be something like this, where you're just following good principles to build a basic app. You can see it's just consistent, looks good, and it came as a result of thinking about the other person and how they're gonna look at it. Now, the final type of project that I did to help me become a better programmer and really made me a programmer is projects for the world. Again, it's one thing to make a basic portfolio. It's another to make a project for your mom. However, it really takes a special person to make software for many people to use. And if you want to take anything from this channel, it is to build stuff for the world. Now, I like to call this like the masses principle, and it kind of follows what in number two, where we talked about building some things that other people can see. But what, what I mean by like the masses principle is when you build something that people can buy and use, it 
forces you to be the best programmer you can be because you cannot fuck up one bit. So for example, here's where you'll build a piece of software that people could buy, uh, look at. For example, I don't know why people look at it, but they can look at it. And overall, judge. Not your mom, not your friend, not your freaking dog. People can buy this and use it. And for example, here I have one of my first apps that just suck. Like looking back, it, it sucks. And I uh, had to shut it down because it just, it's, uh, it wasn't worth people buying anymore. But here's a good example of an application that would be judged in front of the world. It's a mentor app where it has like fully fledged authentication. And it's an app where people could purchase the things in your application. So you can see here $8 a month. If you choose to be a programmer, always think in the eyes of an entrepreneur if you do so you will be the best programmer you can be because an entrepreneur will always provide value first to the customer and if you think like that if you just think i should provide the most value to a person you will be the best at that craft and a good example of that right would be your applications a project for the world will force you to make better software, stay up longer to code because you're making something for someone that's giving you their hard earned money. And look, I don't expect you because I know some people just don't want entrepreneurship. They just want to like get a job, but try to build something that people could use or in your eyes may buy. So for example, I'm building an LMS platform where people could like buy stuff. Before I made this app, I was nowhere near the programmer I am today as a result of following good principles, doing the best I can on these projects and trying to improve as much as possible. I'm telling you, the mentor app was the application I built before with this one. And you can see a stark difference with the cleanliness, I guess, of the app. Like look over here, this just looks really weird. Everything just looks kind of off. I'm using like a weird third party tool for authentication versus here where I built my own authentication system that I made on my own. And so project for the world, build something that people could buy, it could be, freelancing if you want like if you sell your skills but even better build software that people could buy and not only will you get a taste of entrepreneurship but people are, are always impressed when you have something to sell or at least have a product that is worthy of selling and yeah basic portfolio for yourself project for your mom or friends and then finally a project for the world that you can sell these three projects i promise you if you do all three in, in that order you will be the best programmer you will ever be like you will reach your potential and you will constantly uh, find yourself in better and better positions as a result of following these three things and by the way if you want tutoring with me where you know you want help with your programming and want someone to walk you through some projects i will leave the sign up form down below i'm only accepting a limited amount of people for tutoring because you know i'm only one person so i will leave that down below for those of you who are interested and also i will leave the discord server and the free a uh, web dev roadmap down below for those of you who want to join a community or uh, have a roadmap on how to code. But yeah, happy coding and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.